Welcome to this demonstration of CVIS Pro. CVIS Pro is an extension of ESRI's ArcGIS Pro. It is the next generation of CommunityViz software. This video will help get you oriented to CVIS Pro by giving you a tour of the capabilities of the software. CVIS Pro is a decision support system that empowers GIS analysts and planners to generate complex, custom, and highly accurate urban analytics, including scenarios, suitability analyses, build-out potential, impact analysis, and more. CVIS Pro is a product of City Explain Incorporated. If you are a user of CommunityViz Scenario 360, our legacy software that works with ESRI's ArcMap products, CVIS Pro provides continuity of functionality, giving you the ability to import and use analyses from Scenario 360. CommunityViz began as an idea in the late 1990s when Noel Fritzinger and his friend Lyman Orton first envisioned a software tool that would make the planning process more accessible to ordinary citizens. The Orton Family Foundation launched the first production version of the software in 2001. It has been in continuous development since then. The versatility of the software has made it a favorite of planners, academics, and consultants all over the world. One of the best things about CommunityViz is that you can choose your own level of sophistication. The tool provides the user a set of apps that guide relatively novice users of GIS through some common urban planning applications, such as running a suitability analysis or estimating build-out capacity. But CVIS Pro also extends the functionality of ArcPro, and more advanced users can use the framework to do custom applications and sophisticated land use modeling. In this way, CVIS Pro is both a model and a framework. The tool doesn't provide much data of its own. Users typically provide the input data to run an analysis, such as parcels, roads, and zoning. As an add-on to ArcPro desktop, CVIS Pro runs best on a local or network computer. It is not an application in the cloud. Installation and licensing. Before installing the software, make sure that you have administrator privileges on the computer that you're using and that you have ArcGIS Pro installed. Double click on the CVIS Pro executable file that you've downloaded from the City Explain website and the wizard will guide you through the process. When you install and license CVIS Pro, it includes both the latest versions of CVIS Pro and CommunityViz Scenario 360. If you have purchased CVIS Pro, or if you're using a trial license, an email with a license and password will be sent to you. Once you have this information, you'll need to activate the CVIS Pro license. The most common licensing option is the single seat license. Insert your license ID and password on the next page, and be sure that your computer is connected to the internet. Starting the application. If I click on New CVIS Pro Analysis, I can create a new empty CVIS Pro Analysis, create a new analysis from another CVIS Pro Analysis, or create a new analysis from a Scenario 360 analysis. For many CVIS Pro users, importing a CommunityViz Scenario 360 analysis will be one of the first tasks they'll want to do. Select the Scenario 360 analysis that you'd like to import, provide a name for the analysis, an optional description, and select the analysis location. CV files on your C drive is the default, then click Finish. Depending on the size of the analysis, the import process may take a few minutes. If you encounter errors during the import process, you can validate your CommunityViz Scenario 360 analysis before importing it into CVIS Pro. With Scenario 360 version 5.3, you can run a tool called Validate for Pro. This will ensure that any custom Scenario 360 extensions are removed from the data and that the GeoDatabase is the latest version. After validating, try importing again to CVIS Pro. Exploring a CVIS Pro Analysis CVIS Pro has a similar look and feel as other elements in ArcPro. The ribbon is the primary interface for working in CVIS Pro. Most major commands, windows, and tools are located in a ribbon in five sections, selecting the active scenario, analysis components, settings and updates, edit tools, and decision tools. The Scenario 360 content window is gone in CVIS Pro. All of the key windows are accessed through the ribbon. Windows controlling scenarios, data, charts, and assumptions, indicators, and attributes are all located on the ribbon. Other familiar tools from Scenario 360 are also brought forward in CVIS Pro. There are analysis settings, 
tools to manage or force analysis updates, start up 3D, or open the help file. There are editing tools such as Paint, which you can use to do geo design or scenario sketching. This tool will apply one or more values to a feature using a template. There is an option to suspend and resume dynamic updates. And there are also decision tools such as the suitability and allocator tools that are present on the ribbon. In Community Viz Scenario 360, there were separate windows for setting up and then displaying different components. In CVIS Pro, the setup and display options have been integrated. For example, when I open up the Assumptions window, there are separate tabs for Setup and Display. When I open up the Indicators window, I can see the indicator values as well as create or modify an indicator using these buttons. Similarly, if I open up Charts, I can set up by clicking on the menu icon in the upper right hand corner. For more advanced users, creating and editing dynamic attributes is a key part of the CommunityViz modeling process. Dynamic attributes are formula-driven feature attributes that update automatically as analysis is performed via map edits, sketching, attribute changes, assumption changes, etc. The ability of CIVIS Pro to calculate values dynamically using formulas is a powerful and unique tool. It enables you to make changes in the analysis and see the results immediately. The concept of dynamic attributes is not unlike creating formulas in a spreadsheet tool such as Microsoft Excel. A formula references data and updates if any change is made to the input values. This process happens inside layers called dynamic layers. In this way, CommunityViz takes a different approach than traditional geoprocessing. Creating and editing dynamic attributes isn't a necessary skill for most CommunityViz users. In some cases, decision tools like Suitability can do the work of setting up dynamic attributes for you. Check out the CommunityViz website for additional resources, including case studies, tutorials, and sample datasets. Planning services including training and coaching, as well as free trials and purchasing can also be found here. Thank you for going on this short tour of CVIS Pro.